Hi guys, in this video we're going to look into smoothing and adding more um, sort of edge loops to our character uh, and how we can retain certain sort of uh, more uh, firm shapes. Um, so once you've got your low poly here, um, I would duplicate it um, to keep a copy of it just in case you want to go back to it because once we smooth it it's hard to remove a smooth um, when you get so far in so it's always good just to have a copy of your sort of real low poly version of your character. Um, if you press 3 on your keyboard, you'll see what it looks like smoothed. So this is called smooth preview here. This is not an actual, um, this is not actually smoothed. It's just a preview of it. If you press 2, you can see the difference between the low and the um, sort of smooth version there. And then if you press 1, it will go back to normal. Um, so to physically make it smooth, we go up to mesh and smooth. And you can see that this obviously adds more edge loops to our character here. Now, having more edge loops is vital so that it can actually bend when we add the skin. Remember, when we paint those weights, we're painting it on the vertices. So if the vertices aren't there, we can't do that. Um, but you might notice that it uh, maybe loses some definition in some places. So if you look at the toes down here, if we look at how it smooths them, it actually loses quite a lot of that um, detail down the bottom. So if we want to maybe keep that hard edge there, we can go up to Mesh Tools and we can use this crease. Now it changes our cursor slightly and we just select the elements that we want to creep, keep crease, so the edges themselves, and we can crease them. So if I now drag my middle mouse button from left to right, you'll see at the bottom left it says crease value, and now the maximum value is 2, but it will go up to 10. Okay, so there isn't there isn't much reason for that. Generally, you want it on uh, above 2 or below 2, above 2 or 0, generally, sort of thing. So that's fine there. If we now press 3, it's sort of creasing that part, so you can see how it's different to the other one there. Okay, if we now crease these edges as well, like the corners, essentially, so take those up to above the crease value of 2, and then press 3. It's now keeping those again, and then lastly, if we crease these, it's now going to keep that full shape there. So I've I kind of creased all of the edges and said that they're going to stay as they are. Um, you can kind of do this on the fly, so if I crease this edge here, you can sort of see how it drags it down. If I crease that one there, it's taking it up a little bit. If I crease this one, it's bringing that down, crease that one bringing that one down as well so you can sort of crease in this preview mode here to see how it's going to affect it um, so you might want to um, have a little look maybe this edge here I'm losing a lot of definition maybe on that edge if I crease that edge I'll retain a little bit more I might have to do the side ones as well and probably these ones so now I'm, I'm keeping a bit of uh, definition on there. If I take them sort of up, you can see there is sort of a blend, so you can use a bit of a crease. If you look in the lower left hand corner, you can see my crease value is 1 here. This is a value of 2 where it's fully boxy, and this is a lower value here. So you can use creasing somewhat to help your kind of mesh retain definition in certain places. So I might maybe double click that edge loop there and if I do this you can see how that's affecting the neck. So I could find an area I'm happy with, say so somewhere like that. And now if we just jump out of this and go into mesh and smooth, it's giving me that result there. So you can see how this side of the mesh is a lot different to this side of the mesh here. My neck has retained a bit of that hard edge up there, uh, which is cool. And this one is obviously fully creased down here. Um, so using creasing will help you um, sort of retain definition when you do your smooth on your model. Um, yeah, and then smoothing is giving you more edge loops so that when you come to add bones or rig it, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so in this video, we've looked into creasing and smoothing um, to add more definition to our mesh. Okay, thank you very much.